I'm Erica Belsieworth. I'm Ellen Hamilton. Here we are at 145 Columbia Heights, the third Brooklyn Heights Designer Showhouse. We have 17 fantastic Brooklyn-based or Brooklyn-vibe designers, as we like to say, participating in this year's show house. Hi, I'm Antonio Deloach. We run Antonio Deloach Designs and 45 Grand Home Furnishing and Decor. We're located uptown on the historic block in Harlem on Strivers Row. We also have an office in Los Angeles. Our firm focuses on making design and luxury affordable living. We do high end, we do everything from a home renovation and we say that we're frame to finish. Right now we're standing in the solarium bathroom. It's kind of like the unspoken best room in the house, I wanna say. Um, we kind of love the fact that we take a room that's the unpopular space and we make it the most popular space in the home. Brooklyn, Soho House meets Ralph Lauren, little sexy vibe. The first artist is Saku. He's an African-American artist. The series that he's just done of black barber shops, and it is a place that we feel safe. It is a place familiar. And that kind of flows into Taylor Gartner's um, works of art. We met her on Instagram during 2020 in the middle of the pandemic and immediately fell in love with her, but it wasn't about race. It wasn't about who she was. It was about her voice through art, through her living experience here in New York City. And I was like, do you have any more of those pieces from Black Lives Matter 2020? This one here is of Washington Square Park and I absolutely love it. And the colors just kind of make the room come to life a little bit more. Flavor paper has been like amazing. The way they curate wallpaper and be able to storytell um, different cultural moments, um, different artists, and the way they bring them to life is just fun. And it brings the different elements of the room of discovery. And we love the fact that you can sit here and appreciate the wallpaper almost as artwork, but you've got everything from Biggie Smalls to Fulton Street. And there's just iconic Brooklyn in the wallpaper. You can't get better than black and white, but then to call it Brooklyn Toile kind of gives a little classy, little Parisian essence. The brown hands, they're porcelain hands. We've hand painted them brown. They kind of hold the room up. Um, there's so many layers. We could probably sit here all day long talking about, you know, the hands that have held us all up. Red and yellow beads, the African beads that they're holding were an inspiration from Biggie Smalls' um, iconic Koji sweater that's like super colorful. So we pulled those colors out and we couldn't ignore this fantastic little wardrobe that's like kind of tucked away. We've painted it matte black. Um, we've added lighting in its interior and we've given a little bit of a hotel-y kind of essence to it. There's a little bit of wonder. There's a little bit of mystery in the space. There was no way in my career that I could put just a basic white waffled shower curtain. Pindler said yes. We've done a luxury velvet on the bottom, corresponding it with a leather band, an orange welt, and a beautiful pinstripe. So we absolutely love that. The end result of this project is fun, it's sexy, it's intimate, it's iconic Brooklyn, it has a voice, which is again the reason why we're calling it hashtag see me. There's an underlying little political message, but there's also a sense of luxury. My name is Megan Camp and my firm is Megan Camp Interiors based in Brooklyn, New York. We create fresh modern spaces that mix the traditionalism found in New York City and the East Coast with the freshness found on the West Coast, in California specifically. The goal of this room was to bring in color, softness, warmth. This is the top of the house. It's the modern wing of the house. I brought in a lot of antique pieces into this modern white box setting, and it offsets, again, the cold lines with the warmth and patina of the antiques. So when you come up the stairs, you're instantly hit with the sunlight and it's a completely different vibe than the rest of the house. It's light, it's airy. This table came from City Foundry, which is an antique and vintage store in Brooklyn, New York. 
this is the focal point when you turn that corner and you come into the space. But again, you can take all of this off, pull up the chairs and have dinner, have a coffee in the morning. This is a gorgeous mirror from Salt Lizard, who is an antique store in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. This mirror you'll see, I mean, there's imperfections, but in a weird way, those imperfections and crusty antiques elevate a space. It actually makes it feel more expensive. The pendant light fixtures are from Circa, which is one of our favorite lighting vendors. They have so many different options at different price points. We worked with them to pull these lanterns, which are a great way of pulling the outdoors inside. These are actually damp rated, so they can go outside, but they can also go inside. This is a classic mid-century design. It's called the Swoon Chair, and we pulled this from Fair in 200 Lex. They have a great mix of modern, but very traditional mid-century pieces that are still being produced today. One of my favorite elements in this room are these antique lithographs that we found. They are of eggs, they're of bird eggs, and every single one is hand-colored. They are so precious and so delicate and so thoughtful that we framed them and they tie the old world of this townhouse into this new modern wing. A design challenge in this room were these really awkwardly shaped walls on either side of the fireplace. So what we did is we took a grouping of one type of artwork and we created a grid on either side of the fireplace. And what it does is it joins these two awkward spaces together and it creates one whole focal point. And anyone can do this, it can be any type of art, just the same type of art uh, displayed in a grid-like pattern. Also, the grid pattern is repeated on the carpet. We partnered with Crosby Street Studios to cover basically all of the flooring in this room. It starts on the fourth floor landing, goes up the stairs into this room, up the stairs to the terrace, and it's this grid pattern that is repeated in the antique lithographs and also outside on the terrace. We have trellises that we've painted and adhered to the walls. The Shade Store worked with us on this, but they also, and one thing people don't know is they just started making pillows. We worked with them to create these really big, wonderful lumbar pillows, which are displayed on the bench seating. It ties the room together because the pattern is on either side of the room. The end result of this project is fresh, it's classic, it's timeless, but it doesn't feel heavy or stuffy. It feels like a space that you can come and take a deep breath and relax. I am interior designer Katie Reed from Katie Reed Interiors. Our clients hire us to design over-the-top, elegant, sophisticated spaces. Anything from kids' rooms, to living rooms, to sitting spaces, to commercial spaces. This is a home that was built in the 1800s. I really wanted to accentuate and play off of the architecture while still having modern accents. I started off with this wallpaper from Flavor Paper and it was just like an ode to Brooklyn. So what I imagined this space was to be like a visual guest book of the people that have wined and dined with the homeowner. So you get some few pops of celebrities around. And just a simple console table where you could come in, drop your keys off, drop your mail. Which takes you to the elegant sitting room. In this space here, I worked with a Bull Concept, which was my main sponsor, to bring this vision to life. I partnered with Bull Concept just because of their contemporary lines and their distinct features. They really help bring that contemporary modern vibe. They're a great brand to check out. They're located in the city and they have tons of other stores around the United States. This is a boucle, but it is a uh, protected whereas though it, you could be casual enough to spill a wine over and you won't have to kick your friend out. <laughs> the wall sconces as well as this cabinet. I thought these were great grounding pieces and they were kind of sort of like my jewelry and accents of the room. 
the Buddhas, the Chinese water jars, those are from a great friend of mine who recently passed away by the name of Sandra Long. She had a shop called Anglo Raj Antiques and she helped teach me the fine art of curating antiques. So I really wanted to make sure that her contribution, her celebration was shared in this space as well. This ended up being a work of art from the planning process to all the fabulous collaborations I got to connect with. Although it's elegant, you want to have some sophistication, but it's still casual enough where you can enjoy a good conversation and hanging out with friends. I'm Melinda of Melinda K Design. Welcome to the laundry. Being a millwork specialist, that creating that as my niche means basically that any cabinetry, paneling, specialty treatments, space planning, layouts that have to do with built-ins are really my, my world and my asset. Clients would probably describe my work as luxury living. There's the concept of beauty, but with necessity. When I was approached to maybe consider the laundry room, there were some things in here that had to be addressed. That doorway had to be moved. I really wanted to get a U shape out of the, the space. So just really had a lot of flexibility with the room, but then also to say, you know what, come see my laundry. Washer and dryer are still here. I never moved them. That was the easy part. So I left them here. They're hidden behind the doors so that we don't really have to think about them too much. Things that are utility, like the electrical panels, are hidden behind these gorgeous black mirrored features. I decided to have the hanging rod in here. I had to deal with certain things. There's a lint trap. There's all kinds of function in here that I had to make beautiful, so I sprayed it <laughs> with, a, with a metal finish that worked a little bit better with the room. Custom tops. Everything in here is intended to have sort of a dual purpose. So yes, there is a sink, but we can also add this in as another folding surface. We really need to fit out the entire space and make it so that we get standard full depth use out of it. You can still fit your cleaning products in here and anything that's not necessarily pretty, but there's plenty of space to hide it. The stone is very special. It's a honed petite granite. It's actually hundreds of years old. The reason it was selected is because of the variation in the stone. There's rolling carts. So I wanted to give you a designated area that wasn't necessarily dirty clothes, but you are hanging delicate items in here. Let's say you're washing them and you're treating them right on this desk. All of your materials are in here. You find a hole, you sew it because all of the materials in here that you need. So I just wanted to give you a designated workspace that was um, beautiful, but also necessary so that it didn't climb over into all the other functional areas. A lot of uh, my own blood, sweat, and tears has gone into this space and the incredible team working with me. And it is a dramatic, moody laundry room that you just want to be in. Mm -hmm.